Hey there, Scipio here, and this is just going to be a quick tip on uh, Real Flight 7, and it's a pretty simple one, and many of you that have been flying simulators, or particularly Real Flight 7, probably already know about this, but it's one of those things as a new user to Real Flight that uh, I wanted to figure out how to make it happen, and then uh, once I did, I thought I would share uh, with the rest of you. So, uh, one of the great things about simulators it allows you to crash for free which is why we use simulators uh, we need to crash in the sim so that we don't crash our real model but the problem is the default uh, setup for the simulators almost all of them as far as I know uh, have a reset position that's usually on the ground in front of you which is where you would normally take off from however when you crash uh, particularly if you're trying new things or, or just learning you crash a lot you, uh, you find you end up having to wait for your heli to re-spool back up so that you could take off and, uh, and practice some more. So in this particular case here, let's say I'm, uh, I'm goofing around and uh, I'm going to crash. Bam. I hit my reset button, which on my Interlink Elite controller is, uh, is a little button. or Otherwise, you can hit the space bar. But now I've got to wait for this thing to spool back up so I can go back to where I was uh, before. So what I like to do is use the reset aircraft position feature and basically what I like to do is get into a hover uh, somewhere a little above mid stick middle of the screen there and I hit the P button and that's uh, going to be short for remember aircraft position now that's the new reset position so I can go take off do my thing and anytime I hit the reset button whether I crash or just hit it uh, because I decided I didn't like uh, what I was working on I wanted to start all over again uh, it just takes me right back to that center position every single time. So the gotcha here is that you need to make sure that you have your stick back at the middle position or higher whenever you do this. Otherwise, it's going to slam you into the ground. So full collective, one way or the other, is going to be immediately enabled once you hit that reset button, as you just saw. Uh, you want to do side in, same thing. Just hit the P button, and then whenever you reset, you'll be back in a side in position. Um, it really is, you can do any orientation you want. For example, uh, if I wanted to set my orientation so that my reset puts me into a inverted hover, um, I can just get set up, same thing, I kind of put it a little bit higher uh, in the display, hit the P, and then now when I hit reset, it will take me back to a hover. Same thing applies though, your collective is immediately active whenever you hit reset, including throttle hold. So if you hit throttle hold and then hit reset, you're going to have no motor. It's just going to drop out of the sky. So clear your throttle hold and recenter your stick before you hit that reset button. But that's it. This is just a really quick tip. Uh, hopefully that will be helpful for somebody who uh, wanted to get more out of the flight sim and uh, perhaps didn't like the default reset position. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great reasons why that default position works. But if you're just, like, trying to hammer out some maneuvers and you want to keep starting over from the same place, this is a great way to do it. Oh, and you can always go back and revert to the original reset position. Uh, and I'll show you here, this is also the menu option, but P, control P will clear the position, and then of course space resets it or the reset button on the controller. Uh, but that's it, now we're cleared and, uh, and back to the original reset position uh, anytime we hit reset. So that's it, I told you this was going to be quick, and uh, I guess I'll catch you on the next one.